Hello there everyone, welcome back. It's time to get into our first real mission now as we've done Operation Gatecrasher, we got ourselves established now. We're just getting through our paces there until we get access to new content. So, we got a gorilla op here and from what I understand, this is a brand new mission type here, Neutralize the Field Commander. So I have absolutely no idea what to expect with this, if I need to just straight up kill like an officer or something, or if it's something entirely different. Because the closest I even got to, like, that relates to a specific VIP is, of course, the VIP uh, hostage capture mission with the council missions. But this is a little bit different, I'm going to assume. And we're getting it right away, so it can't be that difficult, right? One way to find out, but we're going to swap out some of our roster here a little bit and start getting my rookies all promoted, so... What I'm going to do for maybe the first few missions is just get two of my squads in and replace and get, well, get two rookies to kind of help complement them some. That is the plan anyway. So hopefully, if I can get keep these promotions going with at least one of my squads, I should have access to a fifth squad member. I just can't remember if it's on the second promotion or third where I get access to that. So if all goes well in theory, I would have access to that by the time the Gorilla Train Ops is done. So, we're going to make use of our flashbang. We also have a med kit, so I want to make use of that. But, let's not skimp out too much on the frag grenades, because they will be handy for destroying cover. And now it begs the question, do I want to get a smoke grenade as well, or possibly a second flash? I may want to hold off on that, just because I may not have the supply I need to actually get the training so we'll stick with this and hope it doesn't bite me in the ass because I'm expecting a sectoid to take part in this mission here and those things are going to be annoying if not dealt with properly which is kind of what the flashbang is going to be for it's going to at least give me a guaranteed turn where that thing's pretty useless to hopefully clean up the rest of the pod but other than that I don't have much defensive abilities it's mostly frags so I gotta play aggressive which thankfully I got an assault and a grenadier to help with that some. A trusted source in the resistance has confirmed that a high ranking advent military officer will be yeah. moving Let's see move us through the part. Do not allow the field commander to escape. So this this is a completely type of that. This is a completely different type of mission here. I'm kind of excited. Although that also means there's room for error, which means I'm probably likely to mess up okay I already, I already know of target preview so there it does not seem to be a timetable here so I think if there's any timetable it's when I reveal myself that the officer the commander starts panicking so gotta keep that in mind keep that in mind so Nat Cook you're gonna go first Get us at the door and see what's on the other side. Let's see, nothing so far, so we're golden to push on through. Let's see, I've got to check if I have any other better moves, though. Get the most po effective type of move. And of course, in my grenadiers also probably wants to get in front. Since they, yeah, extra health. I got an extra health point from the promotion, so I might as well use them as my front line as much as I would hate to get them killed. The assault at least kind of needs to be up there. Nothing spot yet. I have no idea where to expect them. They could be anywhere, especially with me roaming the middle. That could be risky going through the middle like this because they can come from any angle and with my concealment potentially getting foiled and as a result, I may not want to do that. Not for long. I may have to reposition myself, but from what I could tell, we have infinite time, potentially, so I should take my time with that. So, there's a sectoid, there's a trooper with it. So, this works well for me. I can get the sectoid out of the way relatively quickly, potentially. Do I really want to open up right now or wait a turn, though? I think I want to wait a turn, potentially. Because I don't have to worry about a grenade, at least with the standard trooper. 
where would be a best where the hell is a good position to put these guys though I'm not sure but let's get everyone in good well everyone's in full cover so I may want to stay where I'm at quite frankly and wait till next turn to start laying them up okay they're going back inside so I'll just follow them for a time being get ready to give them the jump ideally so I just gotta be careful of covering all that and also where's my assault that would be handy to know okay Andy I kinda want you as my point man because potentially you could just well you you can't one shot the sectoid just yet until I give you the blade master trait which increases your sword damage so I'm probably not gonna do that but okay this is salt wall so I'm okay going here it's just all half cover, which is kind of silly considering I'm still concealed. I should be fine half cover, at least for the first turn where I open up. Potentially. Potentially. Getting it done. Otherwise, get the overwatch ready. Overwatch. We're going to keep poking forward. Actually, let me just... I'll, I'll poke up just a tiny bit more with Nat. See where they go. Okay, they're going to continue walking away, which means... I'm likely going to run into a second pod if I keep following them, but hey. So long as I play safe, i got infinite time, so I'm not really wasting my efforts. Oh, damn it. That I did not see coming. At least, I did not exactly uh, waste my turns there. I got options here. I just don't get my uh, opening shots I would like. And now I'm a little bit concerned about going in melee. Until I'm certain that Sectoy can die. I have flashbangs an option. I can hit them both with a frag, can I? I can hit them both with frags. Not likely to kill the trooper though, but you know, get my frag out of the way. That's an option there. An option I want to hold on to. And then that hopefully opens up for a slash on Sectoid. I really hate the idea. Of going in there. Really hate the idea of going in there. But at least I can potentially get heavy cover. I just don't know where the other pods are. So this could backfire horribly. Ooh, and I can actually one-shot this. Very unlikely, though. Okay, so there's the plan. I think the plan is to grenade. Soften up that sectoid. Maybe kill the trooper as well. And also try to avoid destroying the cover. If that's at all possible. It's not it's not cooperating very well, unfortunately, so I guess the cover has to go. Get ready for a Make use of that frag. Hopefully I can save the flashbang for later. Yeah, I didn't get the four damage I would like though. Didn't get the four damage I would like, but let's see. Mm. I'm still hesitant about this. This is more than likely going to backfire. Do I have any way to know if the coast is clear if I were to push forward with someone else first? Not really. Not at all, because I can't get that full cover, but... Let me just... Let me just go for the guaranteed kill on... Well, I... Hmm. There's a lot of options here. I could just throw a grenade. I could just try and shoot him. Which probably... The grenade's probably a better option. So we'll go with the grenade, I think. We'll just get him out of the way now. Actually, what's the chances it hit the sectoid? Just 41. So yeah, slash is the option. So grenade's the plan. And then I guess we hope... There's no one else over here. This could still fail. This could still potentially fail. Actually, let me just go here. Moving. Check my chances. 51. Definitely not taking that. 12% chance this could fail horribly. There. We got the clean up. We didn't waste the flashbang. And we didn't reveal second pod, thankfully. So, all in all, that 
while slow was an effective turn. Uh-oh. Okay, this is different. So now the clock's a ticking, and that's what happens when I reveal myself. So it's a good thing I tried killing him early, or killing it on that turn. Rather, so that way I can move forward almost unhindered. Just gotta keep an eye on where everyone is. And if I do run into the officer, at least then I have a flashbang I can use, potentially. I just don't want a double move. I really don't want a double move. Because we know the objective's there. I can't quite get there in five turns. Oh. Just by walking, though. So, let's try. Can I try and use the high ground? I got a good vantage point here, at least. No one was revealed. Or, didn't see anything, so. Okay, so, I know this is clear here, so just keep on moving. And you're just going to overwatch, Jake. We'll kind of go two by two. Two... The one slacking behind will kind of sprint up, and there's our officer, I think, right there. I think it's safe to say that's our guy. He's got a lot of health. Hey, ooh, and he's all by himself. Sadly, a shotgun is not going to hit at that distance. As much as I would like to. If I can get... Ooh, I got a hit. So, this seems really damn promising if he's by himself. And a flashbang actually will slow him down. Probably not the best use of a flashbang. But I like the idea of using it at least. Let me just find good positioning. Make sure I can see him. Is there any way I can flank at all? I think flank might be better because he's in full cover. And there's no way to know how I can hit him. Ooh, that's a flank there. But before I do that, let me go up with someone that may be a little more ideal for up aggressive. Being a little more aggressive. Uh, this wall's transparent. I just want to know. Okay. I just want to know if there was an opening there I can peek through. Alright, so I have flashbang. I think I go with the flashbang just to be safe. And I can see him here, right? It says I can see him, so I'm going up there and I'm just going to blind him. At the very least, that will restrict his movement. Oh, I take that back. That I was not expecting. Hmm. So there should still be another pod around, though, so i got to be careful. Who knows where that third pod would be. And I would love to be able to slash on the other side of the wall. Not going to happen. I can go crazy on them, though. You would think that'd be safe. No full cover, though. Only problem. I kind of would love to just go slash him. It is half cover, though. But he can take a hit, though. He can still take a hit. And I know there was a... There should be no other squad over here, so I could try it. And it gives me a good position for next turn, maybe. Dang it. I forgot the... Ooh. This game better and better. I messed up with that, didn't I? At least I got full round cover, although that advent's gonna cause issues. I still have five turns. I still have five turns, and I got a flank here. So I'm gonna take that and try and clean up that second pod. And if that... Sectoid just panics and I'm okay. So got a good flank there. Ooh, Nat can get some shots there. Not really any flanks, unfortunately. And I have no grenades there. Ooh, good chance to hit. Lots of options, but you're in heavy cover and I don't like that. Well, how does my flashbang look? Well, where the hell is the sectoid? Because it can blind the troopers. Is it needed, though? 
Because I really want to just kill the sectoid. Or blind the sectoid. I'm going to have to try and clean these up though. I made this... I made this bed, I'm gonna have to sleep in it. So... I can get another trooper there, potentially, but I'd rather be to have the high ground point. That's a little more reliable. Ooh, and I can shoot him, but it's not very good odds. Actually, I can overwatch and force the commander not, maybe not move? This is gonna hurt, though. Thankfully, he's not going to get flanked, potentially. Oh boy. I don't think I can get the flashbang over there. That would be amazing, though, for next turn, because I think I keep get control of him. I have three turns. I have three turns, and i got to deal with that sectoid. Enough is Overwatch, so I'm free to do this. Wow. I am wrong about that. That commander surprises me. So, can I blind both? Ooh, this is perfect. That better be blind the sectoid. Then I can get super aggressive. Maybe with the, uh... With my assault. I should have control of him now, right? He may be shaken, but I should have control of him. That is what I was hoping for. And the Sectoid's not going to do anything next turn, I just lack some heavy cover. Okay. So let's kill this trooper. Because I don't have much other options. But, this should be the last pod. Damn it! Damn it, you low rolls. I hate your goddamn low rolls, but... Not a lot we can do about it. And what about that officer? I have two turns to hunt him down. And that's not going to give me much accuracy, so let me try to 46, I guess. And then clean up the sectoid. Thank you. Not going to kill the sectoid really easily, though, so... I should prepare that for next turn, actually. Throw a grenade, weaken it, soften up, and make it vulnerable to a, a sword next turn, if not a shotgun. Probably could overwatch now that I think of it, but it's not going to do a whole lot with heavy cover. Especially with the overwatch. Okay, he's going to shoot at me. He's got... Oh, frag, this is going to hurt. Ooh, damn, even worse. That was a flashbang, damn. He surprises me more and more, that dang commander. Now, I just got to... Collect my senses here a little bit. Not likely to happen, though, with that shot. Ooh, this changes things a lot. Hmm. I still got a high ground point, but can I do anything with it? I can chase after the officer next turn at least. And I have really bad shots for next turn, so... Officer needs to die. Hands down, officer needs to die. He should be my focus. I'm really ho hoping I can jump down that, though. Can he jump down? It looks like he can jump down, so... I'm good there. I'm just worried he's just gonna walk behind the wall there when I overwatch. And it's gonna do with no value. That's kind of what I'm worried about, but at least it keeps him still. Hmm. I could hunker down, that's an option, but I would like to move too. There's always a chance I hit him, and he has only, like, really poor accuracy with that overwatch. But he's... 
Ooh, this is tough predicament I put myself in, isn't it? So no grenades at all are left, so the officer needs to be a priority. Yeah, that was bound to miss, especially with the overwatch penalty. That was like 5% to hit, I think. So that was worth trying. And otherwise, there's not much else I could do. So just reload, use up that free action I have, and then just overwatch, maybe keep him still. And hope I can do this the way I think I can. Not gonna hit, probably. Definitely wasn't likely to hit, but was hoping maybe it would keep him still. Wow. So he saw him. And now I only have half cover. Eww. You lucky bugger. Cause that should have been full cover, right? Hmm. Damn. Well, so much for my idea of keeping, keeping my units alive. I know the officer's right there, though. I can still kill him. It's just going to be a weird spot for me. Because I, I want to be sure I'm flanking. Moving to designated coordinates. Okay, that's good. Not the most amazing flank, but I can take it. Five, so... Not there yet. I gotta hope the heavy gunner can do the job. And I, ooh, I can flank him right here in full cover. Risky, Confirm. but with an overwatch to back me up, assuming it kills, the sectoid won't go anywhere. Wow, he's got good defenses too. Come on, hit please. Nope. 73%, that missed. I gotta kill that officer though. Because I think he can move to the objective. Ugh, 62. Nope. This game better and better. Damn, two opportunities squandered there. Now it's a question, can he reach that objective? He's going to raise a zombie, a sectoid. Okay, that's fine. That's not going to do anything on us yet. Oh, he made it there, damn it. Oh, I still got a turn. There is still hope. Moving Just got this sectoid needs to die. Although I need five damage to do it, which doesn't sound promising. I'm gonna have to go for broke here. Yeah, I get a flank on officer there. Do I get a flank here? Flank, light bit, cover? No, nothing there. This will help make my decision easier if I can hit, kill the sectoid. Thank you, that's just what I need. That is what I need. Now we gotta try and get that kill. I have one shot left. Seriously? Didn't you just tell me I had a flank there? Was the game lying to me again? I saw a flank on an Advent soldier, not an alien. There's two different icons for that, and now I just got screwed over. God damn it. The, the game just... Screwed me over, I think, there. Or maybe I rushed it there at the end. Well, not a promising start, is it, there? Peacekeeping forces foiled an assassination attempt from XCOM on civilian targets today. And here I saw uh, all this time I was able to avoid the third pod, pushing aggressively with uh, the Ranger. Which, of course, probably was a bad idea. It's a shame. 
I thought it was safer than it was, which is kind of why I dislike the dang assault so much. Having to get so close and put itself in such a risky, per per perilous situation. The media is a powerful tool. Just ask so immortal in our hearts there. I, say it's time we turn it again. I am sorry for your death there, Hughes. We get two promotions though, one of which is a ranger. And a specialist. Not what I want at all. But we're gonna push on through. Hello, Commander. The council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the resistance from the inside. It was these resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent Black Site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. So, bitter, bitter loss there. I'm not safe scumming though. I'm not planning on doing that there. I'm going to try to avoid that as much as possible. But of course, this denies us our engineer that would be really good early on, so just consider this a handicap on myself. If I somehow make it through to the end, then I did with a handicap. Just uh, doing, doing it with one less engineer. Commander, Let's see, the there's the black site that we're going to try and work for. To actually get us into the facility. We should try to make contact with their forces in the region as soon as possible. It's the only way we're going to find out what's behind this so-called Avatar project. So, let's get this one engineer at least. At least it wasn't denying me a scientist, right? Much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had known. Ah, Commander. Excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip planted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It it is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. Alright, so a little bit of progress in store there. What, el what else do we unlock though besides the corpse? I think... Oh, the infirmary, okay. We got the infirmary which helps with healing, although it doesn't help me when my ranger gets shot by two guys in the same turn unfortunately because with that heavy cover it should have been 35% there and then half cover honestly with the commander I don't know its stats so it was from what I can tell it probably was 
a lot more accurate than a normal officer, so it had a good chance of hitting me with the half cover, sadly, so that really sucks. Ooh, it was bad with me. It was bad luck all the way through, but mainly, if I had sent one unit on the rails behind the away from the wall a bit so I could see them, that probably could have been averted. That could have been averted at the very beginning. I will send word as soon as we have something of note. Oh well. I'll stop reminiscing on the past there. Let's keep on going. Keep on pushing forward, get our engineers so I can actually get my structures built. And work our way towards this black site. Because how many contacts can I do, I wonder? I'm just... Let's see. Never mind, hold that thought. We got ourselves... We got ourselves some engineers to start utilizing, so I can grab this down here. But how many days? I gotta check how many days, see if it's worth grabbing this. It doesn't even want to tell me. So that would be that'll be 20 days there. So and what about this other one? Definitely be sure, but how much shorter? Oh, five days. So that's definitely worth grabbing. And I have plenty of power for a workshop or at least something else there. I shouldn't need power just yet. So we'll go with that. Now. Don't think there's any... Con I can't make contact with East Africa just yet until I do the research. So we're doing the research as we kill some more time. And I think all what we have left before we get see more of the new content will be... Was it the council mission? I think we'll find out what happens here. You are too trusting, John. The skirmishers are Advent. Advent is the enemy. The enemy is food. Try not to bring that up when we meet, Volk. You take their side after all we've seen these years. Look, I'm not exactly having drinks with. But they did hold up their end of the bargain. What about you? Wait and see. Volk out. I actually think they might show up. Commander, that was Konstantin Volokov. Volk to his friends. He and his Reapers are a big part of the reason why you're standing here today. Volk may be a little rough around the edges, but he's the real deal. Heads one of three resistance groups operating independently from us that we consider a legitimate threat to Advent. Together, they've made one hell of a fighting force. Too bad they hate each other. Still, we've made some unlikely progress. Volk's Reapers may have found you, but they weren't acting alone. They were tipped off by a group of Advent defectors known as the Skirmishers. No one's big on working with these guys. You wouldn't be here without their help. Both the Reapers and the Skirmishers have agreed to suspend hostilities, provided you serve as the go-between. Trust doesn't come easy between these two, so we're heading for a nice, quiet spot on neutral ground. Even so, let's not take any chances. Intel on this area is weak, and we're picking up strange chatter on comms. Not to mention we're ending a decade-long blood feud today. I'd advise our soldiers to be fully prepared before we deploy on this one, Commander. Good luck. Alright, so the only rule is we don't screw this up as well, hmm? And we get access to our Reapers and the Skirmishers there. This is going to be fun. And we get our scientists out of this as well. Let's get going, shall we? Go forth into new and wondrous lands. Unlock our Reaper, try out the Skirmisher, and move on to bigger stuff. So, oops. Okay, so let's switch this around. Well, the Heavy probably be useful here too. Just trying to figure out my squad. I still want to get some rookies in so they can get their experience as well. So we got specialists, 
aid protocol probably not going to be useful for this because I do understand what's supposed to happen here so but after this I am completely blind so this is going to be exciting once we go into that so rookie we'll get Lucien here and let's see make sure Okay, I was wondering if I was missing a med kit or something there for my, when my ranger died. I, I'm gonna hope not. Let's just un, unequip everything. I shouldn't need a flashbang. Med kit's always handy, so I'll give that to a recruit. And now to the next squad. Two specialists, don't think we need two of them. Uh, I keep going edit for some reason, silly me. Now, let's see. Something with good damage there, ideally. Well, let's see, with the Lost, 3 damage is good. I could take a Specialist, maybe. I'll take my Grenadier. He's probably getting relatively close to his new rank. And the Flashbang will actually be useful for the second part. So, Bernard, you're in. You are in. we got a Flashbang handy and ready. So, let's do this one, shall we? Group everyone up, get to our first encounter with the Lost, and like I said before, let's not screw this up as well, shall we? Ooh. This is going to be fun. Reapers are kind of my thing with their stealth dependency, or their ability to be able to be stealthed really often and really early on in this campaign, so I'm going to happily take them. I'm happy to try them out. No, oh, and it cuts out the 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 briefing there. Wasn't expecting that. Ooh, that's enough. That's gruesome. Alright, time for the mean for the Reapers. And I do not want to have uh, Chrysalis Barbecue. No thank you. I'm assuming that's a Chrysalid. No thanks, I'll pass. Now, can't we have all those Reapers? So, then you're in magic. We wouldn't need an actual XCOM squad if we had all these guys for our missions, hmm? We shall see if the same holds true for these skirmishers of yours. The Lost aren't happy. Your presence already disturbs them. We must move quickly. My people will take care of this camp. Come. All right, let's do this then. Uploading the coordinates to the rendezvous point now. We plotted the most direct route there. We don't know much about the skirmisher contact you'll be meeting other than his name, Mox. Mox? Praetal Mox? His death squad wiped out entire camps of my people in the first years of the war. You would dare do this? Pretty sure hands are bloody on both sides of this fight. That's the whole point of this intervention. Reapers are born in the shadows. So Reapers are going to be a lot of fun. Even when concealed, there's a chance they can stay hidden after they attack. So they're going to be a lot of fun. Although, from what I've seen, it's only a 50% chance initially to stay hidden. Damaged and dormant all these years. These devices still emit trace elements of unstable radiation. I cannot fathom what they were like in their original function. We were there, Doctor. You're better off having missed it. Move it out. Should be able to just sprint up safely, right? Got it. Famous last words. Moving out. Especially if one's concealed, I could probably easily use her to make sure the coast is clear. And here comes the loss now. 
Happy Happy Lost. Or also known as Zombies. And there's a handful of them now. Just peered out of nowhere. I shouldn't even need cover, quite frankly, because these guys are all melee anyway, so... Let's reveal them, and start shooting them. So, guaranteed kills with their health. It's when they start having 4 health that could be an issue. So, how this works... Anytime you get a one-shot kill, or at least to get a killing blow... I'm gonna be able to keep shooting. This is where the fun's gonna be in shooting down zombie hordes. Although, yeah, with 70% chance to hit, she's likely going to miss eventually. So I gotta make sure I get a good handful of kills, but with a bunch of 70s, it's well in my favor, at least. Well, well in my favor. I'm just gonna make sure I keep on moving forward. We'll take one more shot there. Actually, I'll just spend the whole mag, I guess, if I'm able to for it, and then reload, and then push forward with them. With Evan, so... If I'm lucky enough. Probably not. Okay, perfect. We got three kills out of them, so with all those three actions, we'll reload and push forward. And hopefully, Elena can kill some, the rest of them. Well, there's only one left anyway, so hopefully Elena can kill the rest of them, as I said. Especially with how close I'm getting. There, perfect. Oh, and I forgot she does only three damage. Need to keep that in mind, but there's the shadow effect in action. Not that it even matters at all with the with the loss, mind you. They're all melliers, and cover and casino probably is not all that effective unless I want them to ignore me. Oh, zombies! It's only two zombies though, so we're fine maybe until more appear. But they're coming. They are coming now. These creatures' DNA has mutated well beyond what we would classify as human. Perhaps the result of long-term exposure to the alien radiation from those pods. Though why anyone mm. would subject themselves to that, I cannot imagine. When the governments fell, millions starved. Many fled to cities such as this to scavenge for food. They did not heed the warnings. So, we got a nice cluster here, and I'm a little hesitant about using my pistol. Because none of them actually has two health. Which is a little unfortunate. One of the downsides of having a sharpshooter, I guess. Especially when I'm missing, damn it. At least I know she can kill them effectively. Do I get any closer? Probably not. At least, when I kill the other one, I think... There should be another one close up. Nope, they're all right there, so... I'm perfectly fine moving up, but I just need to know their movement. How fast they can travel. But I should be more than fine here. So start knocking them down. And if she can somehow clean them all up, then Evan can push up further. Oh, I need to reload too. Which is fine. Oh no. No, it's not fine. Because I can't do any more shots. I over. I did not plan this out properly. Oh well. I should be okay just moving forward there. Let's not have Evan lag behind. Although breaking the window may have have drawn attention. I know explosives draw them to me. Don't know about breaking stuff. Yep, I'm perfectly safe. So, one more zombie left. I still am going to cover one I probably didn't need to, but I want to try and get her some ranks. Or a promotion, ideally. There, promotion or nice. And you get your, you get yourself a free reload as a, to boot, so. 
Let's keep pushing forward. Got to figure out the terrain layout. Is there a door there? No, there's not. So we're going through the window, I guess. Keep on pushing through. This overwatch at the ready. And probably just reload to be safe. I think no. We can afford not to uh, reload with all the free points I'm going to get. So where are the other zombies hiding? Extraction point is close, but looks like these things don't want to make it easy for you. We will make it to your pet advent in time. Yeah, thing blocking the path. That's fine though. I'm all right with that because apparently no one's appearing just yet. I'm about to reveal them now, more than likely though. Yep, there they are. Two squads. No dashers, so I should have myself a turn to gain position. Ooh, and some of them I think have two health, so pistol is a really good option here. Out. Don't know how well I'm going to hit, but a pistol is a good option. Oh, I actually can't see any of them either, so... I guess I'm going to go with the tried and true uh, rifle here. Get ourselves a couple free kills for the next turn. And maybe I could actually just sprint up to the objective. Yep, it shouldn't have happened. But it's 77%, so I forgive you. Ooh, nice kill there, Evan. So, we'll preserve ammo and go for the two health kills. Nice, good use of the pistol. Oh. Not anymore. Oh wait, the rifle can shoot them, but the pistol can't? Wow. That I was not expecting. That I was not expecting at all there, but... They're gonna hit me next turn, so I might as well get in their face. Get the best chance of hitting with this. And avoid the two health ones for the pistol, just in case. Oh, they're all two health, so let's go for three. Because at least then I can just kill them all with pistols, so long as they keep hitting. In case I do happen to miss some. Alright, two more shots. Okay. So two are left, we're golden. We're gonna let the do- We're gonna let our pistol do the talking, shall we? So long as they have two health, I'm going for the easy kills. Yeah, I like 100%. How can you screw up that? And otherwise I can get the uh, the meeting point next turn easily enough. So let's reload and just sprint for it next turn. Nope. More zombies right behind me. That is just cheap. Because I think he can actually get a melee attack on me, can't he? I was worried there at first. That would have been the cheesiest thing. Getting a melee on me on the same turn they spawned. That would have sucked. Now on to the fun part, I think. 